Hello there, good evening. Hello teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hey there. Hi, really nice to have you here. Welcome all of you. Okay, nice, nice. Nice to see you. Okay, then. so really nice to be here with you. And well, let's just get started. Um, First things first, let's take attendance and then we start with what we have for today. So let's see, let's give me a second here. Okay. All righty, so wait. Okay, so let's start. So we have here, let's start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Anita, nice. So then we have Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much, Angel. Next person, eh, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Raquel. Next, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda Maricela, I guess she's not here yet. Sure. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, hi, Glenda, nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so she's there. So then we have Iris Beatriz Cornejo. It is, I guess she's going to be a, just a listener today, but I guess she's there connected. So I'll continue with Josue Vladimir Alvarenga. Thank you very much, Josue. Uh, next person, I have Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Uh, next person, Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Carlita. Good. Next person, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Uh, nice. Let me see. Next person, Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Let's see, next person, y Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Creo que por ahí escribió Ma, eh, Emilio. Ok, todavía trabajando. So, y, um, don't worry, Emilio, that's okay. So, I continue then with Obed Alexander Alas. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Y Obed, nice. Let me see. Okay, so next person, I have Orfa Lisset Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Orfa. Nice. Uh, next person, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Hi. Present. Thank you very much, Vilma. Nice. Uh, next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Uh, next person, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Meli. Nice. Let me see. Next person, we have Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Judy. All righty then. So there you go. Okay, so pretty much, wait. Okay, pretty much yesterday we were talking a little bit about, well, how to solve problems, how to solve tech uh, support issues, right? We were talking a little bit about those issues we might have. We created a conversation, we were 
uh, kind of getting familiar with that vocabulary. And today, before we start with the topics uh, that we have for today, um, I want to ask you something. Do you know what we are celebrating today? Today is an important celebration for North American Thanksgiving. People. Thanksgiving, exactly. So even though Thanksgiving for us, I guess in El Salvador is not really that important, uh, at least not that much for many people. In the United States, this is the really huge celebration, right? It's almost like Christmas. So how much do we know exactly about Thanksgiving? Uh, maybe we are not all familiar with the story. And I always say, um, it's always important to know a little bit about culture uh, from, um, well, in this case, the United States, which is a, well, a, the people who speak our target language, and I mean the one, the language that we want to learn. So I have prepared here a little video about Thanksgiving, and I want you to pay attention to the information they're going to share about Thanksgiving, and then we're going to have a little test to see how much you understood about the video, about this, well, about the story of Thanksgiving. So let me share my screen here. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So here we go. All righty then. So here we have a, this short video about Thanksgiving. I'm gonna share it with you, listen to it, and then we'll have a little quiz about Thanksgiving. So here we go, listen. Americans of all religions celebrate Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday of November. Children do not go to school and most businesses close for four days. Thanksgiving is a special day for families and people travel great distances to be with their families for this occasion. Pilgrim Fathers The tradition started with the Pilgrim Fathers. They were against the Church of England. They wanted to start a new life in a new country. The Mayflower Eventually, on the 6th of September, 1620, 102 men, women, and children left England on a ship called the Mayflower. The voyage was difficult. Two pilgrims died, but two were born. On the 11th of December, 1620, they landed on the northeast coast of North America. It was almost winter, and there wasn't much food. They immediately built small houses, but it was too late to grow crops. The winter was very long and cold, and half of the pilgrims died. In the spring, a Native American called Squanto helped the pilgrims. He taught them how to grow corn and how to hunt and fish. Soon the Pilgrims and the Wampanoag Native Americans became friends. The Pilgrims grew crops and the summer harvest was excellent. The First Thanksgiving Dinner By November 1621, everyone had food and a home. There was hope for the future. William Bradford decided to celebrate with a dinner for the Pilgrims and about 90 Native Americans. He wanted to thank God. This was the first Thanksgiving dinner, and it continued for three days. A traditional Thanksgiving. 
Today, the traditional Thanksgiving meal is similar to the first. People eat roast turkey with cranberry sauce, potatoes, corn, and pumpkin pie. Many charity organizations prepare a free meal for the poor people in their town or city. New York City celebrates with Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Macy's department store organized its first parade in 1924. This parade is very famous, and more than two million people go to see it every year. Chancha, right? Okay, so that was it. E this is pretty much this is pretty much thanks e giving day. E we salieron ahí las papitas hablando de papas. So, y, um, tal vez, no sé, ¿verdad? Para nosotros, quizás la Navidad, el 24, el 31, son fechas en las que las celebramos de manera muy parecida a esto. O sea, hay comida, hay bebida, eh, está eso de, de reunirse con la familia, de invitar amigos, eh, prácticamente muy parecido a lo que ellos hacen en Thanksgiving. Eh, Pretty much, this is not just about the food, not just about, well, what they have, eh, but it's about the meaning of it. Eh, and it's about being thankful with the people. It's about being thankful with what you have. Eh, it's pretty much about that, right? Este día, prácticamente, ellos le dan gracias, eh, bueno, a Dios por todo, ¿no? Ellos eh, eh, se sienten agradecidos por todo eh, lo que, eh, que lo que ellos tienen o ¿no? lo que lo que han alcanzado durante el año. Now let's see, let's have y eh, let me see y eh, qué pasó wait just give me a second to see close this eh, um, thing for me so okay here it is. Okay, so as I was telling you, based on this video, eh, we're going to have a little quiz about that. Let's see how much you actually understood. Let me see about Thanksgiving. So let's see. All right, so here we go. Just give me a second, just. Okay, so based on the information that they provided, we are going to complete this little, let's say, quiz about Thanksgiving. So let me see here, you're going to see some information that maybe it's not exactly, or was not exactly there, but here you will have some curious information about this. So here it is. So let me share my screen so that we can all check it. So here we go. See, all right, so let's play a uh, Kahoot about this celebration about Thanksgiving. And let's see if you can answer these questions that we're about to check here. So this is it. This is the pin number that we're going to use. So here we go. Carla Maria, Marilyn, Vilma, Evelyn, Julie,
o ver nice. Brenda. Carlita Lanza. Nice. Anita. Alright, waiting for the rest. One more minute. And let's see. Okay, I guess the rest of you might be on the way home, so that's okay. Let me see. Let's start with this. Ruth, if you weren't able to connect, don't worry. You can connect during the game. So don't worry. So here we go. Okay, Thanksgiving. Let's see how much you can guess about this celebration. So, true or false? The United Kingdom celebrates Thanksgiving to the same extent as the USA. Oh my God, really? No, cinco segundos, no dio. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, 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 no. So, never mind. So, false. It was false. Pero por ahí algunas preguntas acá vi que tenían bien poquito tiempo y no lo, no lo puedo modificar. So, y don't worry, como esta, por ejemplo. Tenía solo cinco segundos. Anyway. Y dice, en el Reino Unido celebra el Día de Acción de Gracias de la misma forma que los Estados Unidos. No. Right. So, this is pretty much something that the United States celebrates. Not in the same way as the United Kingdom. So they don't celebrate this in the same way in England. So, no. So let's see. No points yet. All right. So, aquí, I don't know them, these guys, but not, not yet. No points yet. Next one. Around how many million turkeys are sold during the week leading up to the holiday? How many do you think? Three, two, one. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, but there you, get, there you go, you get it. So here you have around 280 million, million turkeys are sold during the weeks of this celebration or previous to the celebration. So, can you imagine? This is a lot of turkeys. So, 280 millones de pavos se venden en esta temporada del Día de Acción de Gracia en los Estados Unidos. So, there you go. That's a lot of turkeys. Let's see. Some people guessed. All right, Carla Maria and Vilma getting some points. Next one. Do it quick, do it fast. Americans believe that Thanksgiving is modeled on a harvest feast shared by the English colonists. La celebración conmemora o pues, está basada en ese eh, en esa cena que vimos ahí en el video que se celebró en There you go. 1621. So that was the first Thanksgiving meal that they had. So back in uh, 1621. And after that, then, well, the celebration stayed, right? And it is what we know nowadays. So there you go. So Vilma going to the first place. Carla Maria, Julie, Obed, and Evelyn. Next, true or false, family gratitude and thankfulness 
our prominent theme of Thanksgiving. Quickly! <laughs> oh my God, five seconds is not enough. So true. Family, gratitude, thankfulness. Familia, gratitud y agradecimiento. If they are prominent themes of Thanksgiving. So very good. Carla Maria, returning to the first place and on fire. Vilma, Obed, Yuli, and Carlita Lanza. Next, declare the national day of Thanksgiving. Who? Who declared a national day of Thanksgiving in 1863? Can you George Washington? No, Abraham Lincoln. So there you go. So it was not the, the first president. No, it wasn't George Washington, but Abraham Lincoln in 1863. So he said, this is going to be a national holiday. And since then, he, well, he, pretty much they celebrated as a holiday, right? So good. All right, Oved, going to the first place on fire. Carla Maria, Yuli, Evelyn, and Vilma. Next, since 1989, US presidents have been cooking or pardoning a turkey before, prior to Thanksgiving. What is it that they do with the turkey? Pardoning. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a tradition in the United States since 1989. Desde el 89, eh, el presidente de los Estados Unidos tiene la tradición de perdonar un pavo. No sé si por ahí lo viste en las noticias, a veces sale y le ponen nombre al pavo y bueno, lo perdonan, ¿no? El, el pavo que se salva de bueno, que le den eh, cuello ¿verdad? para las cenas, <laughs> de que lo hagan y recaudo, so, y they do it, so, in the White House, so there you go, since 1989, so good, let's see, all right, Vilma, eh, going up, very good, still, over in the first place, next one, you need to type the answer, in San Francisco, but Jesus, they substitute turkey with in San Francisco, sustituyen el pavo por el animalito que está saliendo ahí en, en la imagen. What's that? <laughs> Tienen que escribir la respuesta. How do you call that animal in English? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Cameron, Cam Cameron, <laughs> no, crab, that's the answer, <laughs> Cameron, pero ni, ni en español era Cameron eso, <laughs> no, cangrejo, right, so, <laughs> in San Francisco, Cameron, <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> in San Francisco, they don't eat turkey, so they eat a ver, ¿quién puso eso, teacher? <laughs> ya lo vamos a buscar, lo voy a bajar. Ya iba a sonar así como camarón, chacarón. Camarón. <laughs> <Al vez. laughs> camarón, <laughs> chacarón. Yo no responde, Iba, yo no ya a poner, así que lo puse. <laughs> ah, usted fue, vea. <laughs> so, there you go. Cangrejo en inglés. Crab, right? So that's a crab. Sí, yo me quise acordar de Don Cangrejo. There you <laughs> go. Ahí está, cabal. Mr. Crab. Uh -huh. Don Cangrejo. Exactly. <laughs> SpongeBob. So nice. So, curiosamente, en San Francisco no comen pavo. Ellos lo sustituyen por, un, por cangrejo. No, no sé de dónde se sacaron eso. Pero ellos dicen, no, este día comemos cangrejo. So there you go. See? So, well, no points in this one. What about this? At the North Technical High School in Florida, students launch pies at the faculty and administration. ¿En qué ciudad será? Los estudiantes lanzan pasteles. En 
Missouri. There you go. So at North Technical High School in Florissant, Missouri, is students launch, they launch, they tiran pasteles a la facultad y a la gente en administración, ¿no? So, tipo la nacional, pero no con piedras, sino con pastel. No, a ver qué. <laughs> so, there you go. So, they throw pies at the people. There you go. Let's see. Next, almost finishing, number nine, has put a parade in Thanksgiving since 1924. What company has put on a parade every Thanksgiving? What company is that? Macy's, not McDonald's. So, a uh, parade, desfile, right? Esta, este almacén, Macy's, todos los años, desde 1924, eh, hace un desfile, ¿no? Que son esos globos que vimos en el video, eh, que hasta la fecha es una gran cosa eh, en Nueva York, creo que es. Y um, so este desfile con globos gigantes en los que vemos los personajes de moda, ¿no? Eh, it depends on, well, the movies and things that are, like, trending eh, at the time of the, of the year. And, well, they had a lot of stuff, right? And a lot of characters during that parade. So very good. Macy's. Let's see. Same positions. Last question. Here we go. True or false? Thanksgiving is not the biggest travel day of the year. No el día de más viajes durante el año. So, false. Durante Thanksgiving, hay un gran movimiento en términos de viajes, o sea, en los aeropuertos, en toda forma de, de, de viaje, y porque mucha gente se, se regresa con su familia, y gente que trabaja en otros estados, tiene su familia en, en un estado diferente, ellos buscan la manera de regresarse, de pasar el día con la familia, como les decía, tipo el 24, el 31 para nosotros. So there you go. In final scores, let's see. In third place, we have Vilma, very good. Second, Carla Maria. And the first place goes to Obed. There you go, the king of the Thanksgiving. Very good. <laughs> Especially mentions to Evan and Yuri. So, for you, there will be a power. So, there you go. Nice. All right, let's see. Ahí está. Okay, then. So that pretty much, as I was telling you, just something uh, related to general culture about Thanksgiving. Even though it's not a celebration that is ours, it, it's always good to know, right? Always good to know about culture of different countries. And in this case, about the, well, as I was saying, the country from which, well, whose language we are trying to learn. Okay, now coming back to our business, coming back to what we were uh, studying yesterday, today we're going to check or we're going to start uh, studying probably in a more formal way, the use of wood um, as we were checking yesterday, um, we were using this auxiliary to ask questions. We were using it to start conversations related to reporting problems, right? So let me see. I'm going to share my screen with you. Just give me a second here. Okay, so more specifically, we're going to be using the expression would in a combination with would like, right? So yesterday we were talking about would like 
too. Like there was a conversation in, we were, in which we were saying, for example, I would like to report the problem. I would like to what a report this situation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me see. First of all, let me share my screen here. Jesus. Here we go. So how do we use this expression, uh, would like or would like to? First, let's talk a little bit about would like in general. When do I use it? I use it for requesting and offering politely as we were probably seen in some different circumstances before. We use these expressions for these two uh, contexts. Now, for example, uh, I could say, what would you like, right? What would you like? If you remember when we were talking about uh, some and any, we mentioned something about requesting and offering things. And we said that we, uh, we use this expression in combination with some, whenever we are asking a, or requesting for something or offering something. Like in this case, what would you like? I might answer, I would like a, uh, I don't know, I would like an apple, for example. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like some water, et cetera, et cetera. Here we have them. A, an example, monkey, monkey, what would you like? I would like a banana, right? Easy. Something about would. First, as we were saying yesterday, or as we were reviewing yesterday, I pronounced this. G. I pronounced this would, right? Would. I would like a banana. So the L in this a word doesn't sound. So it's never would, uh -uh. would, would, would. Would is an auxiliary. As we have seen before, if I'm using auxiliaries in a sentence, I'm not going to change anything in the verb. So that means I can have here, I would like a banana. Right, but I can say, or what if I say, for example, Marta would like a slice of pizza. So this, for example, Marta would like a slice of pizza. In this case, I have Marta, who is the third person singular, right? It's a she. Even though we have here a she, I'm not going to change anything about the verb. No voy a cambiar nada en la oración, a pesar de que tengo un she. Y ya habíamos dicho que con la third person singular, es, usualmente cambiamos o adaptamos el verbo, al menos en el presente simple, al sujeto, a he, she, it. Más acá no. Right. Aquí tenemos un auxiliar, would, con cualquier auxiliar que estemos utilizando. Recuerden, y esto es regla de oro, no modificamos nada en el verbo que estemos utilizando. So we would say, Marta would like a slice of pizza. Nunca diríamos, Marta would likes. Mm -mm. Marta would like. Just like that. There you go. So, golden rule, don't forget. Let's see. Then we have here. So, another example. Cat, cat, what would you like? I would like a mouse. Right? I would like a mouse. And then we have a dog. I would like a bone. I would like some grass in the case of the cow. Jesus, then they were eating spiders. So here we go. 
Another uh, uses of the expression, for example, if I go to a restaurant, I might use the expression to ask for food, like I would like, and then we have, for example, the type of food that we might like to order. So I might say, I would like a packet of French fries, a bowl of salad, I would like a hot dog, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, just some practical uses of this expression. So, uh, and this will be a, a, or this might be an example of a question, a WH question with would. What would you like to order? ¿Qué te gustaría ordenar? What would you like to order? If you remember, we would uh, we were saying yesterday, would doesn't have a translation in Spanish. It's not exactly a word. Uh, would no es una palabra que traducimos, o sea, que, que tenga un significado directo al español, sino es solo una terminación. Uh, ia in Spanish, right? Usualmente, como lo estamos viendo acá, lo combino con el like. Like y gustar. Al agregar would, me queda entonces gustaría. ¿Qué te gustaría ordenar? What would you like to order? And then I have the example. I would like, me gustaría, two bowls of salad. How much are they? They are $22. Just an example of a little conversation here. Mm, but teacher, can I use would maybe with some other verbs that are maybe not like? Yes. Just to give you an example, yesterday I was telling you that we might use would, for example, with conditionals. Um, I could say something like, I would go to the party with you. Let's see. If I hadn't a test tomorrow. This is another use that we give to would. Would también utilizamos en algo que llamamos condicionales. Con esto los condicionales, bueno, hay, digamos, cuatro tipos de condicionales. Eh, Zero, first, second, and third type conditional. This is the second type conditional. Esto sería como el, el segundo tipo de condicional en el que utilizamos pretty much um, would. Acá es como si yo dijera, yo iría, I would go. Tengo go, ir. Más would, iría. Yo iría a la fiesta contigo. Si no tuviera examen mañana. I would go to the party with you if I had a test tomorrow. Y esta estructura, toda, si bien todavía no la, no la vamos a estudiar eh, a profundidad, um, es un ejemplo de dónde también utilizamos would. Usualmente nosotros, bueno, la mayor parte del tiempo lo vamos a ver con like, ¿verdad? pero no solo eh, se limita al uso de would, like, sino prácticamente lo podemos ocupar con cualquier verbo. Y specifically or more often if we are talking about conditionals. With conditionals, we study something, well, we use the simple past. Con los condicionales ocupamos el pasado simple. So that's why maybe this doesn't sound that familiar to you in some cases, but y, um, we'll talk about the simple past. Y de hecho, le voy a estar dando como y pastillitas. Ya estas son las últimas clases. Solo nos queda hoy, viernes, lunes y martes. So, estos días le voy a dar como una pequeña introducción al pasado simple. Cuando terminemos con Wood, por ahí vamos a, a comenzar con esto del pasado. Y para que tengan una idea, para que se lleven de una vez la idea para el próximo módulo. So, we'll see. So, after I explain this to you, then we're going to talk a little bit about the past too. So, anyway, 
this about wood and wood like. So let me see. Some more examples. Well, same here. That pretty much it. But okay, there you just have some more examples in which we are going to use this. So, any questions so far? Preguntas hasta aquí en el uso de wood? Are we cool? No questions. We're cool. Okay. So if you have no questions, then let me share this with you. Here we go. We have some examples on the use of a wood on page 42. If you have the book with you, this is on page 42. In the página 42, we va a encontrar esta conversación in which we can have or we can see some examples using wood or would like to. Um, I'm going to read it for you. Then uh, some of you are going to read it for me. So let's see. Listen for the pronunciation of certain words here. So we have Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report the problem with my printer. What's the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Wait. There you go. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. So here we have, again, a conversation probably on the phone eh, between these two people, Mike and Maria. So here we have the example of these expressions. I would like to report. I would like you to come. In both cases, eh, I'm using auxiliary wood mm, in a somehow different way. Si se fijan en la primera eh, oración o en el primer ejemplo, dice, I would like to report. Normal, como lo hemos estado viendo. Me gustaría reportar un problema con mi impresor, con mi impresora. Pero en la segunda tengo, I would like you to come. Le puse acá en medio de la expresión este you. Me gustaría que vinieras o que viniera. Right? I would like you to come. So I use this because I'm talking to that person and I'm suggesting this person, or I'm telling this person that I would like him in this case to come and check it personally, for example. All right, now let's see. Um, acá, puede que no se entienda al inicio porque dice Mike Hernandez, IT department. Porque a él le cayó la llamada, ¿no? Eh, acá él lo dice como si estuviera respondiendo el teléfono. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. Y comienza la eh, conversación. So let's see. Can you help me reading this conversation? Um, let me see. Can you give me a hand with Mike's part? Let's see. Hmm. Anita, Mike, and let's see, oh, who else is there? And Natalie, can you help me with Maria? All right, let's see. Mike, yo soy Mike. Yes, yes. Mike Hernandez, I department. IT department. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? 
It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message? Message. Message. In the, message. Uh -huh. <laughs> In the control go. panel. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the euro button. I would like you to come soon to check it. Check it. Let's see. No, ahí se equivoca. <laughs> no sé es Mike, qué. ¿verdad? Yeah, tendría que ser Mike, exactly. I see it'll be dear, dear, I'll ¿verdad? Be there. Right? I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there, right? Away. Away. <laughs> away. <laughs> there you go. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. Nice, very good. So thank you. That was very good, two of you. So excellent. E, this word here, error, right? Error, almost like in Spanish, error. Casi igual que en español, error, error. So there you go. Let's see, can you help me with Mike e, Vilma and Maria, let's see. Um, tum, tum, tum. Julie. <clears throat> okay. Mike Hernandez, a department. IT department. Hello, Mike. It is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. To report. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working in it, it's making a strange noise. Strange noise. Is there a messenger uh, is the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error Button, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I be there. Um, uh -huh. Right away. <laughs> right away. <laughs> right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Es, esto lo pronunciamos casi que como si fuera una sola palabra, ¿no? Sí. Right, right, away. right away, right away, right away. There you go. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. tell me. Este, esa, esa última línea, ¿cómo la lee? Ahí sí, y luego. Uh, I'll be there. I I'll, see. I'll be there right away. I see I'll be ajá, esa parte. Ajá. I see I'll be ajá, there bueno, ajá. Right, I'll right away. Mm -hmm. Be there right away. Mm -hmm. Algo así, ¿no? Y, mm -hmm. Muy buena pregunta. Eso del cómo leo ese I'll. Este I'll que ven acá es una contracción y aquí estoy contractando I will. ¿Se acuerdan que cuando hablamos del futuro cercano mencionamos un poquito de will y de going to? Y aquí hay un ejemplo de cuando yo uso will. Mucha gente dice y will y going to, eh, bueno, aparte de que se usan para el futuro un poco más lejano, y going to es cuando estoy seguro, will es cuando tal vez no estoy tan seguro, no es un plan tan eh, seguro de que suceda. Sí y no, no siempre es así. Hay usos también específicos de will y de going to. Este uso de will, por ejemplo, es eh, bien común, que es cuando tomamos una decisión rápido. Es como cuando alguien me dice, tengo sed. Ahorita te traigo agua. Ahorita te traigo un vaso con agua. So, 
I'll bring you a glass of water. I'll bring it. I'll bring it to you. Ocupo will. Es como una decisión que hago en el momento. Lo mismo acá, esta persona le dice, eh, casi que le dice, ahorita llego, ¿verdad? Eh, ya veo, uh, ahorita llego, right? So I'll be there right away. Entonces, esa decisión rápida que tomé, la uso con will. Siempre que hablemos de una acción que vamos a realizar, bueno, como una decisión de hacer algo en el momento, y lo vamos a hacer con will, no con going to. La verdad, sonaría más natural hacerla con will. Y en vez de decir I will, utilizo la contracción, siempre es más natural. Puedo ocupar la contracción con todos los pronombres. Y en este caso sería I'll, pero puede ser con he, he'll, o sea, solo le voy a agregar la L prácticamente. She'll, they'll, will you, etcétera, etcétera. A todos los pronombres le puedo agregar esta contracción y cómo va a sonar como si fuera una L, ¿verdad? Como en este caso, I'll. Tengo I, ya con la L, I'll. I'll be there. Suena que se traba, se enrolla toda la lengua en decir I'll, ¿verdad? Pero es de practicarlo, ¿no? I'll be there. I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away. But nice. But thank you very much, the two of you. That was good. Also, acá es, no es IT department, es IT, right? IT department. So there you go. Se lee como si fueran sílabas, ¿no? Las dos letras eh, por separado. IT. So let's see. Can you give me a hand with the reading too? Uh, Carla Maria, let's see. Carla Maria, Maria, and Angel, Mike. All right, good evening. Hello there. Okay, Hi. let's see. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Good. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. I forgot. <laughs> Don't worry. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. Okay, I would sorry. like you to come soon to check it. I see it will be there right away. I'll be there right away. All right, thank you. good. Nice, excellent. That was good. Good. So thank you very much, you too. Let me see one more. Let me see. So, Mike, um, Josue, Mike, and Maria, Marilyn. Okay, teacher. All right. Josue, Josue, are you there? Yo soy Mike. No, eh, oh, Maria. Maria. Okay. Yeah. Pero creo que Josué quizás no, quizás no, no está available. Vamos a cambiar a, Jos, a Josué por, let me see. Uh, tum, 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 tum. Glenda. Okay, Glenda, you're going to read Mike and Marilyn, Maria. So let's see. Yo no puedo. Pero vamos a ver. Okay, a ver, a ver. Don't worry. Ay, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. My Hernandez is the apartment. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. 
I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Hello. Es que me entró una llamada. <risa> Permítame. Ok, ok. ¿Por dónde voy? Ah. Aquí. ¿Is there? There a massing message? Message in the control panel. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error boot, 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 button. Boot, boot, button. Button. I would like you to come soon to Cherry. Check it. Check it. Checking it. I shall be there right, right now. Right, right away. Right away. Uh, <laughs> I see. I'll be there right away. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you very yes, much. You. Good. Right. So then we have these words in. No habíamos hablado de estas palabras. Message, message, message. No confundir Mes con massage. Y a la hora de escribirlo, una letra hace la diferencia, pero la pronunciación es bien diferente. Massage, message. Massage, message. Y massage, masaje. No, message, mensaje. Okay. Y then we have button, button. Acá esta U suena como si fuera una A, B, button, button, button. So, y esta O no suena exact, así tan fuerte o tan pronunciada como en el español, como O, no es botón, ¿verdad? Button, button. Es como si desapareciera y nos quedáramos solo con la T y la N. Tan, tan, button, button, button. So there you go. So let's see. Hmm, the last one. Mike, Evelyn, Maria, Carlita Lanza. Hi. Hi. Are you ready, Carlita? I'm here. Okay, nice. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Department. Hello, my. This is Maria Ochoa from Accountant. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to work in, and it's making a strange noise. Noise. Is there a message? Message. In the con mencha ¿cómo? Message. <laughs> message. <laughs> Uh -huh. In the control panel. Yes, it said it said service. Uh, also, there is a red light on the error button. I will like you to come so to check it. I see. I be there right away. Right away. Nice. All right. Very good. Excellent. There you go. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. Este, como usted estaba explicando esta expresión de I be there. Ajá. Y, este, y verdad que la encontramos en muchas canciones también. Y yes. Es, y hay una de Bon Jovi, I, por ejemplo. I be there for you. Ajá. There you go. I love, I love uh, Bon Jovi. Oh, nice. Very good. It's too, la primera canción que me aprendí en inglés fue Always de Bon Jovi. Eh, por ahí escuchamos también bastante en esa canción bastante esta expresión eh, I'll be there da, na, 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 na. So, y, um, también una de Savage Garden ahí con Savage Garden sí me poncho <ríe> solo me puedo I want you. I be, I be. Oh, oh I see oh nice so there you go but yeah in many songs you're going to listen to this expression y um, Usualmente a forma de promesa, ¿no? De I'll be there, I'll give you something, I'll, eh, 
be there for you, like, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like a very used, especially yeah, in songs. Nice. Okay. So now that you are, let's say, familiar with these expressions here, let's see. We have a little, ex well, first we have the explanation. Y, uy, no, espérame. Antes que, que siga, antes de que pierda aquí la noción del tiempo. Paso asistencia por segunda vez. So, let's see. Wait. Déjese me vaya la onda. Here we go. Okay. So, I start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much. Anita, next, Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much. Angel, y next, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. Thank you very much. Y next, Glenda Maricela Cuella. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Glenda. Next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Eh, por ahí creo que está eh, todavía ocupada Iris. So I continue with Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Josué, Josué. I think he's kind of busy too. So I'll move on to Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, y Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Next, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Next, Marilyn del Carmen Solis. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot, Marilyn. Y next person, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, y Emilio. Next person, Obed Alexander Alas. Obed, Obed, por ahí creo que lo vi que estaba trabajando. Creo que se levantó. So, let's see. Next person, Orfa Lisset Barrera. Orfa, are you there? All right, so I continue then with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. E next person, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Meli. E next person, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Julie. Okay then. So now I was telling you about this. Let me see this page here in which we had this explanation. Uh, this is what I was telling you before. We can use would like to with pretty much a singular and plural forms, and it's not going to change. Ya sea que lo utilicemos con el third person singular o con cualquier otro pronombre, eh, ese would like no va a cambiar, así como tampoco va a cambiar el uso de el verbo acá. Después que utilizamos la expresión would like to, lo que sigue siempre va a ser un verbo en la forma base. No va a ser un ING, no va a ser eh, un verbo conjugado, eh, no le vamos a agregar la S, nada. Right, lo vamos a dejar justo así como está. So there you go. And let's see. Uh, then we have, we can also use contractions with wood. I think we had a. We had seen this before in some examples in which we had just this D. Este would, yo lo puedo contractar más que todo a la hora de hablar. Y en vez de decir, en vez de decirlo completo, podría decir he'd like, he'd, he'd. 
o I'd. Así como con I'll, que le agregaba la L, sonaba I'll. Acá suena una D. I'd, I'd like to order a pizza. I'd like to order a pizza. Me gustaría pedir una pizza. I'd like. Ya no pronuncio like would. Lo mismo. Puedo ocuparlo con todos los pronombres. Como en este caso, he. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. He'd like to meet. O we'd like to ship this container tomorrow. We'd like to ship. We'd like. Funciona con cualquier pronombre. Solo tengo que agregarle el sonido de la de. Y eso ya es la contracción de would. So there you go. Now, here you have a, a little exercise in which you have to pretend here that a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. You are supposed to write here from five, from four to five requests about this piece of equipment. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Van a imaginar, van a eh, suponer que una pieza de equipo, de maquinaria, en su lugar de trabajo se ha arruinado. Bueno, se, se rompió, se arruinó. Van a escribir cinco requests, o sea, cinco peticiones, digamos, eh, al respecto. ¿Cómo así? Van a ocupar el would, would like to, para hacer cinco peticiones sobre cómo solucionar, para que alguien le solucione ese problema. ¿Cómo vamos a hacerlo? Y... Ahí está. Ahí está. ¿Cómo vamos a hacerlo? Muy parecido a lo que tenemos. Uy, uy. Muy parecido a lo que tenemos en la conversación acá, en la que tenemos una persona que está reportando un problema y tenemos otra persona, en este caso del IT department, que es la que va a solucionar el problema. So, van a tratar de hacerlo eh, como una pequeña conversación, pero van a incluir eh, esos cinco requests en la, en la conversación, ¿no? Y recuerden todos estos cinco peticiones que van a hacer, van a ser con would like to. Ok, so that's what you need to include in your conversation. So let's see. Let me check here. There you go. So I'm going to create a, the breakout rooms. I guess we're going to be exactly six. Teams, no, I'm sorry, eight teams. So let me see. So for example, I have a group number one, Carlita Lanza and Marilyn. So you're working together. Group number two, I have Raquel and Evelyn. You're working together. Group number three, I have, let me see, Natalie and Julie. So you are working together. As well, then I have a Anita. We tengo a Carlita Lanza dos veces, permítanme. Let's see, so Anita, I guess I'll change you. Hmm. Wait, Anita la vamos a cambiar aquí. So Anita and Glenda, you're working together. Next, Angel and Melly. You are working together. Next person here, I have, let me see, Emilio and, wait, Emilio and Orfa. You are working together. And then I have, let's see, Carla Maria and Vilma. Okay, so you're working together. Okay, so I'm going to open uh, the breakout room so that you can start working on this. Remember, you're going to be 
one of you is going to be a person in the IT department or a technician as you prefer it, eh, to do it. And the other is reporting a problem or a situation. Try to use at least five times the expression would like to. I would like to, or I'd like to, right? The, in the conversation. So you have more or less 10 minutes to complete the conversation. And then we perform here at the main session. So the breakout rooms are open. Por ahí le voy a mandar la imagen eh, de la eh, conversación y del ejercicio para que lo revisen por cualquier cosa. So there you go. You can start working now. ¿Cómo entro? No me ha dado la señal. Perdón. Quiero la señal para entrar al grupo. Y ya está, ya le tuvo que haber caído la notificación. Se la voy a mandar de nuevo, Glenda. No la voy a aceptar ahorita, le aviso. Sí. Intente ahora. There you go, I guess you got it. Nice. Hello, otra vez estoy aquí. Se salió, wait, permítame. Sí, sí me sacaron. <risa> ya vino más. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, pues yo me voy Ay, con ella. Pues. Y la llave. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo se sacaron? No, no, no. No, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Julie, es la que está con de color rojo este... y a la parte de la de rojo. Sí, está la de la cara. Ajá, ahí está la de la cara. Ahí da Ya. Me mata. <risa> ¿Cómo? Pero la de color rojo es la de afuera. Tengo a Iris con el micrófono encendido, güey. No se escucha nada. Ahí está. So, y Julie, usted trabaja con Natalie. Y... Sí, pero es que estábamos. Es... De repente salió ella. No, no, no. Wait, permítame. Le voy a mandar la invitación otra vez. Y ahí está. Ahora sí. Nice. Ahora Glenda. Ya le mando la invitación. Vaya Glenda. Y acéptela ahora. No, Jesus. Se volvió a salir. Oh my God. Yo le doy a entrar, me meto y de ahí me saca. No sé qué pasa. Intente ahora, no le aparece nada ahorita. No, nada. Ah. Permítame. Ah, no sé por qué. Vale. Ahorita no acepte la invitación, Glenda, hasta que yo le diga. No vaya a aceptar la invitación. Okay, okay. Permítame. No acepte, no acepte. Ya. Intente ahora. Donde dice grupo 4, ahí es donde le va a aceptar. Sí. Hello, hello. Eh, hello, hello, teacher. Eh, este, fíjese que tenemos problemas porque este, lo que compartió a nosotros no lo cayó. ¿Y cómo lo que compartí? Eh, la página de, del libro. No, 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 no la he fíjese? compartido, por eso no les ha caído. Oh, no, hombre, y nosotros buscándolo por todos lados. No, 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 no que fíjese que como, como voy en camino, eh, la voy a revisar desde mi teléfono. Y fíjese que no sé por qué, pero mi teléfono no lo abre. Este, ¿El que no le abre? 
Eh, el, 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 el libro de la, de, de la plataforma. Ah, ok. Ajá. Y, vaya, igual no se preocupen. Ahorita les voy a mandar, ahorita les estoy mandando las imágenes. Mamá. Ok. Gracias. Ahí está. Nice. Ok. Good. Ahí están ya. Ok. Gracias. Ajá. Hola. Me Hola. escucha usted. Usted me escucha a mí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Si tengo problemas, ella no me oye a mí. Le digo yo que no es problema mío. Si gusta, agrégueme ah. a otro grupo. ¿Será que él? quizás, quizás, este, quiero ver, quizás es problema del audio de ella? La voy a agregar. Sí, si gusta, métame con Meli. Vaya, permítame. Eh, ¿Dónde está Meli? Permítame. Eh, Meli, Meli, Meli. Ahí está, con Ángel. Vaya, la voy a cambiar entonces al grupo con Meli, grupo 5. Oh. Vaya. Hi, teacher. Hey, Obed. Wait. Just give me a second. Eh, vaya, there you go, Julie. Hey, Obed. Y Obed, ya lo pongo en grupo. Ok. Vamos a ver si... Ahí está, con el grupo, en grupo 3, con Natalie. Ok, gracias, nice. teacher. Ok, good. Uh. Hey, Natalie. Hello. Natalie? Está en mute. Yeah. ¿Será que no ve, no escucha, Natalie? <laughs> Natalie. Por ahí me dijo Julie que no, no, creo que usted no le escucha. Hi. Ah, uh, hi, there you go. Por ahí, Julie me dijo que no, que parece que usted... Creo que tengo mala conexión, no les escucho. Ah, no nos escucha, ahorita no nos escucha. Nada. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I have a bad, wow. bad connection, bad network I, connection. Guess so, gee. I can, I can mm. listen to Julie <laughs> after that. Yeah, Hi. that's what she mentioned, eh, that she couldn't listen to you. But that you couldn't listen to her. Okay, but <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I, I, know. I will send you a message. All right. Let's see. Vaya, Obed, usted sí me escucha, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, Obed, lo voy a mover también de grupo. So, let's see. Ya, ya les hago el cambio, ¿ok? Ok. Ok.
Okay. All right. So I see everybody coming back. Let's wait for a couple of people. We still have like 20 seconds. Okay. Por ahí estuvo accidentado el inicio. No sé qué onda con Zoom. Que los metía, los sacaba, los cambiaba. Pero anyway. Por ahí un par de personas, no sé por qué me los cambiaba de grupo. Algunas no los sacaba. So, Lucy, no sé si ya me escucha. No. Sí, hoy sí. Yes. Okay. okay. So, uh, okay. I don't know what happened, but it was, it was crazy. Okay, so anyway, let's see. I guess everybody's here now. So let's see what you did about this conversation and the use of a would like to. So do I have volunteers to start? Nosotras, antes que se nos Okay, so let's see. Marilyn and Clita. Hi. I am Marilyn from the mechanical department. How may I help you? Hello, Marilyn. This is Carla Lanza from the Project Develop San Miguel. I would like to report a problem with the bulldozer. What is the problem, Ms. Lanza? It doesn't move backward and forward from a short time. Will I use a mechanic? No, I would like support online, please. Okay, I would like the number serial, this bulldozer. It is bulldozer cat T8. Okay, I contact you with the support. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Oh, wow, that was very specific. So bulldozer, do you, are you familiar with those, well, with that machinery, Carlita? Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, working this. Bulldozer D8, 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 Oh, wow, nice. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. That was nice. So just, uh, just there was a little observation. Number serial? Uh-uh. Serial number. Tenía mi duda. Oh, sí, there you razón. go. Yeah, mm -hmm. serial number. So the sí. bulldozer mm -hmm. serial number. But nice, sí. that was good. Thank you, teacher. All right, thanks to you. Nice, Carlita and Marilyn. Okay, any other volunteers? Se acabaron los voluntarios. Vamos con los involuntarios, entonces, <laughs> let's see. Uh, in order, the order that I have here, so I have uh, Raquel and Evelyn, in Natalie, no sé si se alcanzó ni Natalie o, sí, okay, all right, let's see, nice, good. Okay. All right. Good. Bye. I am start. Yes. Okay. Hi, this is Evelyn from IT. Hello, Evelyn and Natalie. I would like to report a problem with my keyboard. What is your problem, Natalie? Uh, it can connect uh, with the computer. I'm going to transfer it with Aria T support. Please wait a moment. Thank you. Hello, Natalie. Would you like to tell me, me more about your problem? Yes, uh, my keyboard can connect to my computer. I would like a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> the Merry Christmas. You are, you are <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, is that it? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> so a new computer, just like that. So <laughs> <Sí. laughs> All right. <laughs> For Christmas, you're going to receive a new one. Okay. <laughs> nice. Very good. Thank you. And very creative. Nice. <laughs> good. All right. So let's see. Uh, next. Uh, let's follow the order here. So Anita and Glenda. Me tocó con Obed y Glenda. Ah, no yeah. sé si está por ahí, Glenda. Sí, Obed, este lo, lo, lo integramos, cierto, cierto. So it's Obed, mm -hmm. eh, Anita en Glenda. Obed. Hola. Teacher, Ajá. pero nosotros no hicimos conversación, hicimos sentences. <risa> Pensamos que era. <risa> ok. Sí. Ustedes usted lo hicieron a modo de oraciones. Ah, es que pensamos que eran oraciones, no, oh, no. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, that's fine. No. So you can just read your, your sentences, that's okay. Entonces, inicio yo, ¿ves? ¿eh? Okay, sí, está bien. Eh, la primera dice, I would like to show a meeting with the bus. I would like to schedule a meeting with the boss. Schedule. Uh -huh. schedule. Uh -huh. schedule. schedule. Correct. Uh -huh. The second uh -huh. is she would like the manager to receive these documents. She would like the manager to receive this document. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Three. He That's would awesome. like you to send the budget for approval. He would like you to send the budget for approval. Nice. Yes, four. I would like you to review this check. Well, I'd like, uh, I'd like you to review this check. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Five. They would like to change this order. I'd like to change this order. Good. Yes. Finish. Okay. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> nice. Okay. So the, you did well. You created sentences, but that's that's okay. So that was nice. Uh, Start being utilized. So that's what matters. Good. Okay. Thank you very much for that. So I continue then with Meli and Julie. Creo que están trabajando con alguien más por ahí. Angel. Angel. All right. And Angel. Okay. ¿Tiene problemas, Ángel, de conectarse si los, los deja de último? Um, ok, let's see. Let's wait for Angel. That's ok. Sí, porque está, me dijo que lo está sacando. Sí, la, sí la, veo la, que la, no, no está acá. Ok, nice. Sí. So, Bye. seguimos con, let me see, Carla María en Vilma. Okay. All right, let's see. Ready, Vilma? Ready. Okay. Uh, hello, I'm Carla Maria Arana from TechSupport. Can I help you? Hello, I am Vilma, the secretary. I would uh, like a new keyboard because mine is broken. Oh, I see. The problem is about the keyboard cables or the case? My problem is about the case. Is that um, is that where the is a pardon s a is and t? Oh, would you like a new cable or just change the broken case? Yes, I would like a new cable, please. Okay, I will be send you right away. Thank you, Carlita. Okay, you're welcome. Nice, there you go. So a problem with the keyboard cable. So I guess 
no sé si escuché bien, por ahí decían, it's antique. Como antiguo, querían decir, como, como que el cable es, es viejo quizás, no sé, o yo escuché mal. Yes, este sería, the problem is about the cable, the cable cables, Ajá. los cables Ajá. del teclado, quería decir. Ajá, ah, pero, eh, pero no les decían eh, nada del, del, del cable, que era como... Eh, Antiguo, que era viejo, no, yo creo que escuché mal entonces. Ajá, no, oh, ajá, no. Eso me decía que no servía el teclado. Entonces yo le pregunté si era sobre los cables o sobre las teclas. Ah, ya, yeah, no, so I, I, I misheard them. Ya, yeah, yo, yo escuché mal. Ya, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, good, good. But that was okay. So, eh, excellent, there you go. Nice. So, thank you very much. Evilma en Carla María. Nice. Let's see, who else is missing? Ah, here, eh, Emilio and Orfa. Y no lo tenemos listo, Ticha, porque nos equivocamos y estamos, eh, ahorita lo estamos haciendo nuevamente. <laughs> Sí, oh, wow. porque entendimos, entendimos de que yo entendí de que era que íbamos a sacar las en singular y en plural, y entonces sacamos pues, oraciones en plural y singular. Y hasta Uy. ahorita que la están pasando, la estamos haciendo nuevamente. Ok, all right. Ok, no, don't worry, that's ok. Entonces nosotros ya entró Ángel, empecemos nosotros sí, entonces. Así veo que, que ya, ya se nos unió Angel. Ok, don't worry, Orfa y Emilio, that's ok. So let's see then. Let's continue with Yuli, Angel, and Meli. Okay. Tengo un problema de red. A ver si no lo dejo a media, pero. Okay, okay. A ver, a ver. Let's see. Okay. Good afternoon. Can't you help me? Hello. Meli. Meli. Hello, Hola. Man. Se nos perdió Meli. Híjole, yo creo que Meli estaba teniendo problemas con el audio también. Entonces, entonces Ángel, <risa> diga usted lo de Meli y solo lo hacemos la conversación nosotros. Ok. De nuevo. Hágale de nuevo. Good afternoon, can't you help me? Uh, can you help me? Good afternoon, I am Melissa. <risa> Ya entró, Meli. ¿Cómo, cómo? Qué raro. Ah. Entonces empezamos de nuevo. Ok, let's see. Good afternoon, can't you help me? Good afternoon, I'm Melissa. How can I help you? I would like to report a problem with my computer. Hola. Oh. <laughs> Se nos volvió a ir Meli. Yeah, creo que ajá, está teniendo problemas. Creo, continúe con la parte que sigue, okay. Ángel. Yeah, you continue, no. Angel. Don't worry. Oh, guys. Transfers with IT departments. Good afternoon. I am Angel. How do you hope can I help you? Mm -hmm. um, my computer doesn't start. Okay. Follow the next intrusion. Can you check the powers? Okay, I'll check in. It is fine. Okay, now, can you check if you have uh, a blue light? A blue light on your computer? Yes, it has the blue light. Okay, now try to start. Yes, it's working. Thanks, Angel. Angel. It's a pleasure, Julie. Have a nice day. 
Bye. Okay. Nice to meet you, Angel. Nice, very good. So it was a problem with the computer. Computer not uh, turning on, not working. Nice. Good. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Yo veo que no le gusta trabajar conmigo. Todos tienen problemas. Por molestarlo hace, Julie. No sé si ha sido las conexiones que han estado mal ahora o si es Zoom el que nos ha dado problemas. Oye, Julie. Oye, Julie. Qué malo, ¿verdad? No, mentiras. Ok, let's see. So, well, I guess we are not going to have enough time to go over the simple past. Creo que no vamos a poder comenzar con lo del pasado simple hoy. Y mañana sí, nos vamos a agarrar un ratito como para tener una introducción con esto del pasado simple. Y creo que con Wood y con los auxiliares... No creo que tengamos mucho problema. Como ven, es prácticamente eh, solo de usar la frase. ¿no? La, o sea, no, no es mayor problema, no hay mayor ciencia eh, en, la, en el uso de la frase. So I don't think we're going to have like too many problems with this. So tomorrow we are taking a, one more a auxiliary. A, Well, in, in how to use it to request for help in, in for different situations. And also then we're going to review something about the simple past that is going to be useful for you for the next module. So I take attendance for the third time. So let me see, and then I'll let you go. So I have, well, I'll start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much, Anita. Y next, mm, wait. Yeah, Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Angel. Y next person, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you very much, eh, Raquel. Y next, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Glenda. Next, it is Beatriz Cornejo. Nice. Present teacher, present. Thank you, thank you very much. Next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Creo que se le desconectó por ahí. All right. Anyway, so then I continue with Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, eh, Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Y next, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Thank you very much, Natalie. Next, I have Melvin del Carmen Solis. No. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Y next, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher, lo deja para mañana a primera hora, ya lo tenemos listo el Bye. grupo. <risa> sí, sí que lo quedamos. Bueno. Nice. Emilio y Orfa me recuerdan, pues se me va la onda, me recuerdan. Nice, good. All right, so I continue then with, let me see, Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Obed. Next, Orfa Lisset Barrera. Thank you very much, Orfa. Uh, next, I have Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Nice. Uh, next person, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Meli. Uh, next person, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay, then. So, eh, as I was telling you before, eh, remember that we're about to finish. Eh, just don't forget about attendance. 
uh, try to keep uh, 120 minutes of the class uh, during these days that we are still missing. Um, that's it, right? Um, traten de no faltar este día, ya son los últimos. Acuérdense que el martes terminamos prácticamente. Eh, igual, si, bueno, traten de, de completar todas las tareas eh, para el martes, o sea, tener ya todo listo el martes, que no les quede pendiente nada más. So, that's pretty much it. Y Marilyn se queda un ratito al final. Hey. Or no, for tomorrow. Dice que mejor mañana, tío. Va, mejor mañana. Sí, mejor mañana. Right. Estoy un poco so ocupado. Work. Yeah, sí. that's okay, that's okay. Bueno, de la oportunidad a otro compañero. ¿Alguien más que, que de los que no hayan pasado que estén acá? Creo que ya todos pasaron a... Yeah, okay, don't worry. So, that's okay. So, thank you very much. E a pleasure, as always, to be here with you guys. Have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. So, take care. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.